call on your name And we ask you to be with us alone And we ask you to be with us alone In our need In our need Blessed Lord Blessed Lord We reach out, Lord, in search of your help we reach out and search of your hand And we do it because we need you, O Lord And we do it because we need you, O Lord In our lives, in our lives Blessed Lord, blessed Lord In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit Amen The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. During this Holy Mass, we will pray for all the intentions that have already been screened. Let us also remember to pray for our near and dear ones, for the priests who have ministered in this parish and who are no longer in this world, that the Lord might grant them eternal life. We also, as we journey through this life, are on a pilgrimage towards the heavenly kingdom. And at times, we have not been careful to follow the way that Jesus has shown to us in the Gospels. For this, let us ask the Lord for mercy and pardon. Together we pray, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son, having conquered death, should pass over into the realm of heaven, grant, we pray, to your departed servants, that with the mortality of this life overcome, they may gaze eternally on you, their Creator and Redeemer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the virtuous are in the hands of the God. No torment shall ever touch them. In the eyes of the unwise, they did appear to die. Their going looked like a disaster. They are leaving us like an inhalation. But they are in peace. If they experience punishment as men see it, their hope was rich with immortality. Sight was their affection, great was their blessing thee. God has put them to the test and proved them worthy to be with him. He has tested them like gold in a furnace and accepted them as a hollow soul. When the time comes for his visitation, they shall sign out. As sparks run through the stubble, so will they. They shall judge nations, rule over people, and the Lord will be their king forever. 
they who trust in him will understand the truth those who are faithful will live in him in love for the grace and mercy await those who has chosen the word of the lord thanks be to god your response the lord is my light and my help please the, repeat the lord is my light and my help the lord is my light and my help whom shall i fear the lord is the stronghold of my life before whom shall i shrink your response the lord is my light and my help there is one thing i shall ask of the lord for this i long to live in the house of the lord all day of my life to savor the sweetness of the lord to behold his temple your response the lord is my light and my help oh lord hear my voice when i call have mercy and answer it is your face o lord that i seek hide not your face your response the lord is my light and my help i am sure i shall see the lord's goodness in the land of the living hope in him hold firm and take heart hope in the lord your response the lord is my light and my help the second reading from the new testament a reading from the letter of saint paul to the romans hope is not deceptive because the love of god has been poured into our hearts by the holy spirit which has given us we were still helpless when at his appointed moment christ died for sinful men it is not easy to die even for a good man though of course for someone really worthy a man might be prepared to die but what proves that god loves us is that christ died for us while we were still sinners having died to make us righteous it is likely that he would now fail to save us from god's anger when we were reconciled to god by the death of his son we were still enemies now that we have been reconciled surely we may count on being saved by the life of his son not merely because we have been reconciled but because we are filled with a joyful trust in god through our lord jesus christ through whom we have already gained our reconciliation this is the word of the lord Thanks be to god The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I shall not turn him away, because I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but to do the will of the one who sent me now the will of him who sent me is that i should lose nothing of all that he has given to me and i that i should raise it up on the last day yes it is my father's will that whoever sees the son and believes in him shall have eternal life 
and that I shall raise him up on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, death is not a pleasant word nor idea. And that is why we often have different ways of expressing it. For example, we often, instead of saying the, the word he died, we say he passed away. He has gone away. He is no longer with us. And the same thing is also true in many of our Indian languages. Of course, we also have some humorous expressions like he kicked the bucket to mean that someone has passed away, someone has died. There are many expressions used to circumvent the harsh reality of death, which indicates to us that at times we do not want to accept the fact that our time on earth has a limited span. But that is what it is. But on the other hand, many poets, mystics and writers have made us understand that there is something much beautiful beyond death than we can ever imagine. Our great Indian poet Rabindranath Tagore speaks about passing from this life to the next using the symbol of a ship. He says when a ship starts sailing on the sea, the people who have come to bid farewell are mournful because they see it going further and further away and finally it has gone over the horizon and they see it no more. But he says that just like with ships on this earth that are sailing towards another port where other people are awaiting it, so also our life when it sails away from this earth, it sails towards another port, the port of the afterlife the port of God's kingdom, the port where millions of other people who have gone there before are waiting with joy to welcome the new arrival. And I think that is a very beautiful symbol which captures both this life and the next. But perhaps some things that the gospel, some things that the readings of today help us to understand the poet has put in very beautiful words, our life is like a ship sailing from this life to the next. But perhaps we can say that we are not alone on this journey. And perhaps we can even say that ship is not our own. We are being carried over from this life to eternal life in the ship of Christ. Because as St. Paul tells us in today's second reading, Christ laid down his life on the cross in order that we might gain eternal life. And he did it for us while we were still sinners. And so today as we commemorate all the faithful departed, all our near and dear ones who have passed away from this life, perhaps friends, colleagues, who are no longer with us, it's a moment to pray to God that he might grant them eternal rest in his heavenly kingdom. But it's also a moment to take a look at our own lives and to pray for us too that on our earthly journey we may not lose sight of the heavenly shore where we are finally bound for. Let us bring to the Lord in this Eucharist the memories of all our near and dear ones, the persons we have loved and who are no longer with us. Let us, let us place them in the hands of the Lord who is kind and merciful with whom is found compassion. And let us trust in his loving mercy, both for those who have gone before us and also for us. Let us pray that when our time comes to pass from this earth into God's kingdom, that we might be found worthy of inheriting this eternal kingdom that Jesus has promised us. Your people gathered round you. You're at the sun. 
pray sisters and brothers that our sacrifice may be acceptable to god our heavenly father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good all of his holy church receive lord in your kindness the sacrificial offering we make for all your servants who sleep in Christ so that set free from the bonds of death by the singular sacrifice they may merit eternal life through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord holy father almighty and eternal god through Christ our lord For as one alone he accepted death on the cross so that we might all escape from dying as one man he chose to die so that in your sight we might all live forever and so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we proclaim <laughs> You are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope oswald our bishop and his auxiliaries with the clergy and your faithful people remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god and our mother with blessed joseph her faithful spouse with the apostles the martyrs and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Lord, Almighty Lord, Father, Lord. in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With loving trust in our Father, let us pray to him as Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say, say the word, and my, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer At your feet, O my Jesus, I prostrate myself and I offer you repentance of my contrite heart, which is humbled in its nothingness and in your holy presence. I adore you in the sacrament of your love, the ineffable Eucharist. I desire to receive you into the poor dwelling that my heart offers you. While waiting for the happiness of sacramental communion, I wish to possess you in spirit. Come to me, O my Jesus, since I, for my part, am coming to you. May your love embrace my whole being in life and in death. I believe in you. I hope in you. I love you. Amen. Put your hope in the Savior, He 
shoulders back to let me first must die. We await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our mortal bodies to conform with his glorified body. Let us pray. Through these sacrificial gifts which we have received, O Lord, bestow on your departed servants your great mercy, and to those you have endowed with the grace of baptism, grant also the fullness of eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Some of you all might have already read that Pope Francis has extended the privileges, the benefits that we get normally on praying for our faithful departed on All Souls Day. He has extended it to the full month of November. So those of you who get a chance, you could ask to come for Mass here in our parish on some day during this month. Make a visit also to the cemetery, perhaps when it is less crowded than today. And you will gain the indulgences that the Church offers to all those who pray for those who have departed from this world. Let us receive the blessing of the Lord and bow our heads. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the God of all consolation bless you, for in his unfathomable goodness he created the human race, and in the resurrection of his only begotten Son, he has given believers the hope of rising again. Amen. Amen. To us who are alive, may God grant pardon for our sins, and to all the dead a place of light and peace. Amen. Amen. So may we all live happily forever with Christ, whom we believe truly rose from the dead. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Let us go forth, trusting in the promise of eternal life given to us by Jesus. Amen. Thanks. Be to God. God. Oh. Uh -huh. 